Super Idol de Charo. They'll make me do ten by each one for the Yo, I literally, I literally just got home from work. Tired of shit, but I gotta make this, man. Okay, so I've low-key been avoiding Concord, um, I guess content making low-key. Because, uh, it, I, I, it, it's so tiring, just like, you, you know, I mean, it's sometimes fun, you know, like, shitting on games and stuff. But at this point, gaming is, holy fuck, man. We are just, it's, it's actually really bad for like triple a games and shit it's getting very annoying so sometimes now i'm just like ignoring some news even with star wars outlaws like i like star wars only made like two videos on it i think when i would have probably made like 10 but anyways so we're gonna talk about concord concord got shut down okay it got fucking shut down well it will on friday it's getting shut down on friday so you got like three days left to <laughs> I guess play Concord. Actually, no, because it's a multiplayer game. Once it's down, it's down. I mean, who the fuck cares? There's only like five people playing the game. So let's let's um, yeah, that's exactly why I also like didn't really cover it either in general at first. So let's read this. Um, Concord fans. <laughs> um, whatever five fans they're talking about. We've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PlayStation 5 and PC. I want to thank everyone who has joined the journey aboard the North Star. Your support and passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game in our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6, 2024, and explore options including those that will better reach our players. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who purchase the game for PS5 or PC. If you purchase the game for PlayStation 5 or PlayStation Store, direct refund will be issued original payment method. Customers who purchase other original programs, blah, 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 will be refunded. Um, refund the players who bought the game over the coming days, blah, 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 active games. Once refunded, players will no longer have access to the game. Yep, so it's a GG, you know, just like with fucking Overwatch, you know, it, it Overwatch 1, gone, doesn't exist anymore. Even though you pay for Overwatch 1, it's gone. Uh, we'll keep you updated, and thank you to all the free gunners who have joined us in the Concord Galaxy. Okay, so, it, it's it's a GG, it's a done deal. Um, I don't know why it's showing, like, the same thing. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just go with this. Yeah, so... And I'm not editing this video. Fuck that. I don't got time, bro. I don't got time. I don't have time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Concord is a GG. And um, when I saw this drop, I wasn't really surprised. I wasn't really surprised. Um, compared to what, what was that other game called that, you know, late last year, like November, December, that like ended like, was it like seven days? Well, it took less than seven days to fucking... So that, that was like the running joke, whatever the fuck. But that, that game shut down within a week, too. So this one, I think they're saying this lasted for like eight, ten days. Good job. New record. Yay. Yay. So that's good. <laughs> no, not really. It's not. It's not really good. Um, It's actually saying something that you got like games like... um, Well, Golem's like single player, okay? You can't really... Yeah, you know? But anyways, you got like Redfall. You have Redfall, which is still running, by the way. Um, and I think partially it's also because it's a single player game. Just like with Golem, I think. Remember Golem? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, um, yeah. You, I mean, you can still play Golem. It's a single player game. So that's partially why. Um, that's actually insane. Like all these games getting shut down and shit. It's actually, it's, it's so... It's it's really bad. It's really bad for the gaming industry right now. In, in terms of like AAA, you know, the indies were, were they're kind of thriving. To be fair, first time I've seen a company legit roll back a whole game. Well, no, you got the seven days or whatever the fuck. So, yeah, good riddance. Think carefully, Western game does. Oh, and I heard from the game. See, I haven't really touched on the game as much or like read too much about it i mean i heard about it right but like i haven't watched like any deep ass videos on it you know like the fucking three hour fucking long fucking reviews and shit 
I, I heard it was because it's like a hero shooter. And it's like, well, what's the point if we have Overwatch, right? We have Overwatch. I mean, it might be in a shitty state right now. It might be complete dog shit, but we have Overwatch, you know? The, I, I guess you can say like the fucking pillar of hero shooters, right? It was like pretty much one of the first ones or V first one and got like game of the year, I think. Yeah, it did get game of the year. <laughs> How far have we fallen? Blizzard. Anyways, but Overwatch... They're saying Concord was like bland and shit, right? And you know, and then also they're like DEI, DEI, woke DEI. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I ain't played a fucking game, so I don't really give a shit, uh, honestly, low key. But the the fact that this game, it didn't even have a lot of players. I I think the all time peak was like six hundred. It was six hundred, bro. So that's actually insane although i mean maybe they could have put it on xbox and then maybe i i doubt that would have helped honestly but i mean you could have got like another two players right <laughs> yeah so i mean that's just some of the main problems it's the same old same old hero shooter shit the characters are bland uh, the, the combat's not really you know yeah or i guess gameplay from what i heard um 30 in game. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, bro. 30 in game. Concord a week after launch. Right. Okay. Hey, guys. Yeah, I think it's worse than the. No, no, no. I mean, it's pretty much like a one or two day difference, you know, with that seven days game, whatever the fuck it's called, that came out last year. I, I mean, it's still fucking terrible, you know, it's bad. Feel sorry for the studio, but it's clear what the players want. World-class, first-party, single-player games. I mean, not really, but that's what people are really resorting to because, like, multiplayer games in general have been pretty shit lately in terms of being AAA games. You know? It's just really, like, with the multiplayer games, they put a shit ton of monetization, and so that's why single-player games have kind of risen up lately, you know, have gotten really, really popular. I wouldn't say, you know, most people prefer single play. Well, I do, you know, now, especially because of monetization. But I, I, I like both genres, obviously. I'm a fucking gamer. But, you know, it, it's, 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 I, I would say it's still 50 50. But in terms of the monetization and greediness and shit, it's leaned very much towards single player and like older games. We're all defenders now. I think it's defenders of like, you know, they're calling the game like DEI and shit. And they have, like, trans characters in the games and shit. Um, so, yeah. Go woke, go broke, go woke, go broke. Yeah, that's pretty much all the comments on the fucking video. Go woke or go broke. It's re That's not really the issue, but, I mean, there's a lot of, like, woke games. You, you hear that, that game called the uh, Dustborn? I, I saw some clips on it. It's like a... It's like a... I would low-key say it's like a, a woke simulator, but it's actually a kind of a so pretty solid game. But it's kind of... It, it, it's... It, it depends. It depends. But it's not a bad game, bro. It's really... From what I heard and from, like, the review, reviews and shit. Of course, there's gonna be loud people on Twitter that be like, D-E-I woke! Uh, 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 woke! But, you know, it, it's not that bad. You also have Baldur's Gate 3, game of the year last year. Yeah. Also got a lot of, like, backlash before the game even fucking came out. Mainly because of the bear. You know, it was really just the bear, right? I mean, it was also some other thing, but, you know, it's just the bear, you know. <laughs> bear. Go woke, go broke. Heavily poisoned with DEI. Oh, my lord, it's everywhere. But there are, like, a lot of characters who are, um, you know, like, I guess, LGBTQ from what I've seen. So, there is that. Um, and let's just scroll down here. Can someone give me a TLDR of why this what of this game and why it failed? Almost reminds me of Anthem. Yeah, so we're just gonna go through this really quickly because they probably have a better Well they're they're saying the same thing. I kinda went through it when I was at work. Like the comments low key. But he, here's a fair comment, I believe. Basic hero shooter that didn't stand out from the others. Diluted genre. Yeah, very diluted. J game is forty dollars instead of free to play so people weren't interested yeah that's where they kind of fucked up not gonna lie um overwatch got away with it because i think it was like the first one low-key 
And it was like 60 bucks on launch, but then after that, they went to Overwatch 2 and free to play because, you know, there's nothing else to the game. I mean, it's just the same shit over and over again. It's like a fucking loop, bro. It was like you're in, what is it called, limbo or some shit. Low key. But anyways, yeah, it would have been better if it was free to play, but it's just like any other game, you know? I I'm an Xbox person, you know, you go to the Xbox store, you see a whole bunch of games, like, that are pretty much similar to each other, especially like the free games. You know, so uh, we probably get in there for like a good two days to like a week and then you just stop playing. You like you don't you don't return to that shit, that shit. Oh, my gosh. I hate I hate that. Even though when I was younger and I really I really liked free games because I was like broke. Like I, 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 I don't have a job, bro. Like I'm fucking 12 years old. Right. And so I liked that shit. Right. With the free to play games and getting like a lot of games for free with the Xbox Live Gold and shit. That was really good, really helpful. But now it's very like he said too much it's too much and it's too much of the same crap and nobody's really trying either put that shit in fucking i don't know fucking unreal engine put in some fucking code and boom you got your fucking game put in some fucking 60 dollar skins for like each fucking character each fucking 70 there was like probably 70 characters 60 dollar skins fucking overwatch bro but anyways no one wants to play whatever the oh yeah yeah, so that's some of the, yeah, some of the characters. Hero Shooter that began development after Overwatch won Game of the Year. Clearly, some producers get rich quick scheme. The game itself was developed by Destiny PvP team. Oh. And art style was likely compromised halfway through to allow for expensive mocap. Also, Deadlock. Ha! Huh. Bad and boring characters, which is carried in the woke with the pronouns. I, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, it'll make some people. Here's my thing. I keep I say this every video because I review a lot of games and like talk about a lot of games. If the game is good. I don't really give a shit, right? If it's good, if I like the gameplay, the gameplay good, story good. I don't really give a shit. You know, I don't care what the character identifies as. I, I don't give a shit about that bullshit. If I if the game was fun, the game is fun. Just like with. Assassin's Creed Shadows, if it's fun, it's fun. I don't give a, you know, whatever the fuck. I mean, understandable, um, some criticisms and comments, yeah, sure, but at the end of the day, if it's fun, if it's good, that's all that matters to me, shit. Um, no one water vote game, blah, 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 so it was, yeah, it's all that shit. Um, woke Twitter crowd, ugly ass freakazoid deal, <laughs> holy shit. I thought he was referencing Fleekazoid, like the YouTuber. I gotta watch this video too. He made like another Black Myth Wukong video. Um, offline, blah blah blah. Shutting down. Just going through more comments that I, cause I, I saw some comments. I didn't really like bookmark them or like most of them. World record for Sunny shutting down games is quick. Eight years for a game that stayed alive for about eight days. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It's actually, that's actually really bad, actually, when you think about it. Eight years? For this game? This game is, it, it's a hero shooter. It's multiplayer, so, you know, it's the same shit over and over again, you know. Um, it did, I, I did see, they were like, it was like 12 modes or, si or whatever the fuck, at least like 16 maps or something. I don't fucking know. I saw some fucking lists. I don't know where the hell it's at, but, I mean, but in eight years, you're gonna have like fucking quadruple that amount low-key. The fact that it took eight years to make this piece of slop is actually insane. I'm not gonna lie. I, shit. Honestly, I would have pulled the plug sooner. Low key, I would have. I, I would have. I would have. You know, probably first day, get the first fucking two, three days of fucking orders in, and pull the fucking plug. If it took eight years and you got that, that's actually that's sad. That's really sad. You know, and imagine a single player game, you know, so, something like Baldur's Gate. It, that's that's what you should get, though. That's what you should get in eight years. And it's not even like a single player. It's a fucking multiplayer game, you know. I think the most hard shit you'll do with that is like the balancing and shit. But other than that, like, it, it ain't that hard. But gee, in eight years, you got plenty of time. That's actually, that's really fucked, bro. Or for salaries... To get no return. Yeah, it's like, what, bro? As soon as the players had... <laughs> oh my gosh, man. 
this has to be the biggest flop of all time. Uh, I think there's been worse. I think the game last year that got pulled was a worse. I think they might have been a smaller studio, though. I don't really fucking remember, but... Yeah, they're both on the same level, though. This game was free to play, it would have a chance. Yeah, and especially if it came on Xbox, too, because there's, like, a, like, a, a, you know, like, back then, you know, I talked about me playing a bunch of free games and shit. Um, and downloading a whole bunch of shit, but they were actually good, you know, like, good quality and shit. It's not like today, it's, like, oversaturated. But it would have been better, you had a bunch of kids just downloading this fucking game and just having fun with it, you know, they, probably, like, their third game they're ever playing, ever, so. Yeah, I mean, it would have kept the, the base in terms of that, but... Everything else, I don't know, man. What a shit show. <laughs> so embarrassing, man. It, it's it's pretty insane. Uh, Concord just fell below 50 concurrent players for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. And it's crazy because this game had like a lot of advertisement. You know what the the seven days game? I, I don't even know if that's the fucking name. I'm just gonna keep calling it that. But it came out last year. Um, dude, I think it had way more. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, at least at, at in total, right? In total players, they had some streamers playing the game too, and everyone was kind of excited for it. But it turned out to be shit. This game, they also had, you know, um, streamers playing it. I think RDC played this game. Yeah, RDC. I was fucking watching some of their videos yesterday. But they had streamers and shit playing it and somewhat promoting it and stuff. Big streamers, right? It's not like small, you know, little flies and shit like me, you know. But big streamers playing this shit, advertising it. And it's still... We had, like, less than 50 players on a goddamn game. So that's actually really, really bad. People's job are at stake. <laughs> I get having a little trolling fun. I used to browse back in 2019, but you guys really need to lock in. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of people whose lives depend on this game succeeding just for... Well, I'm not... If the game is bad, I'm not gonna fucking play it. I don't give a shit. What the hell? I mean, yeah, it's sad they lost their jobs and shit. And that's partially why I'm not in the gaming industry right now. Or, you know, not really making a big effort into going in there. You know, making games and shit. Um, you know, even if it's just for, like, an administrative type of role. You know, it's... Anybody can go, you know. You get the fucking strap, you get the fuck back. God damn. It, it don't really matter. Um, in terms of like if the game good or not, you see that that other game that came out was it called High 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 Fi Rush? Yeah, it got an award at the Game Awards, and it's overwhelming overwhelmingly positive. They shut that bitch down. They shut that bitch down. They're back up now. Like they're they're coming back. You know, um, thank God. But Xbox did them real dirty. I'm not gonna lie, they did them real dirty. But, I mean, at the end of the day, that's why I'm not really... It, like, you don't know anymore. You, you you don't know if you're in a game industry. Shit. You know, your game could be really good and it just goes... You know? But in this case, I mean... It, 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 I'm not going to waste my money for these guys. I'm sorry. Like, it, it's sad, you know? Um, it, It's really on their CEO and shit. Whoever's directing the fucking game, blame them. Honestly, blame them. It's not our fault. You know, don't put the blame on us. What the fuck? The game is bad. The game is bad. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, the day gotta end. Reminder that there is still an entire episode dedicated to Concord. And, you know, and I didn't even know they had like a, a fucking, a show, right? You know, <laughs> if anything, they should do this with Overwatch. And I don't know if we should give that to Overwatch. Because I, I, they could still be making a fucking campaign right now. I'm not going to lie. They really could be making the campaign right now still. They're like, oh, we didn't have enough time. It's all well, you got time now. Are we waiting? We can wait another five fucking years. I'm, well, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll probably low-key forget about it. We play another shit. But I, I'm still waiting for that. I would like an Overwatch campaign. Like, I've been advocating for that shit ever since um, Overwatch 1 came out. Literally, I told my siblings. I'm just like, you know, this game would be really fucking good. We had a campaign. Like, this would be a real good campaign game. And they drop the ball so but anyways yeah i didn't know there was an actual shit that's really yeah that's bad that's bad i mean i guess they should pull the plug is it even good though 
I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how the queues are for that game, especially if that's like ranked. Oh, you're never, you're never getting ranked. You're never getting ranked, man. Um, Concord was outlived by Housefly. <laughs> The life expectancy of a housefly. I can't fucking talk. Holy shit. Generally, 15 to 30 days. Holy shit. <laughs> Even lower than that. Oh, okay, so it's, I mean, it's, it's longer than the seven days shit. So it's not too bad. Well, it's still bad. But we're, we're talking about... We're in the dog shit of games, right? I mean, we, we've got we've gotten to this point, okay? <laughs> it's just been so many bad AAA games. It's honestly, it's amazing how they just, like, produce this fucking bullshit, man. It really is. How they're capable. Have, like, a thousand people in the fucking studio. Crazy. You know, Power World was made by, like, 50 people. Maybe less than that. Was it, like, 20? Either way... Baldur's Gate was made like, like a hundred people, maybe less. Ah, shit. Sunny could have made money. They spent on uh, Killzone. Days gone too. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, especially with movies and stuff lately. There's one movie I don't know what it was called. It said like 200 million budget. When the first budget for it was like, I think like. 20 10 million or some shit yeah they're just going overboard it's just like what the fuck you don't need to spend that much low key because of the actors right you know maybe they got a little famous but i mean that's still too much right you know shutting down concord and refunding all players took eight years to make and 13 days to kill yeah because when it shuts down it'll be like 13 days It's just, wow. Astro brought dropping the same day Concord gets pulled could be the biggest middle finger by single player games to let. Ooh. I heard of Astro Bot, bro. I saw it at the, was it at the game showcase? I'm not sure. See, I be seeing shit and then I low-key like forget about it until like it's about to come out, you know. I don't even remember. When did Concord have its advertising and shit? I don't fucking remember. See, that's why I didn't really give a shit about the game. <laughs> um, and thank God I didn't spend any time on it low-key, not gonna lie. The main unique mode of Concord is now filled with players killing themselves for experience points. Oh, Lord. I mean, they've probably been doing that shit since the game came out. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of Concord. The people who made Concord shouldn't have dropped... Well, okay, I mean, you can't really blame, like, Ted the fucking developer, who, you know, um, or the fucking, like, intern or something. It's not really their fault. I mean, you gotta really, you gotta blame, like, who designed the game, the game designers, the fucking, um, what's it called, the directors, the producers, the executives, the motherfuckers who designed the game to be like this, right? Especially the motherfucker who started development right after Overwatch, right? Eight years ago. So the person who pretty much started the whole thing. Who who the fuck is that, honestly? But you, you got it blamed up. You know, motherfuckers, you know, <laughs> just your everyday Joe. It's actually kind of fucked how they, yeah. Yeah. You know, I hope they prepared when they were, like, developing the fucking game. You know, low-key. I mean, they... they I, I wouldn't say they knew how shit it was, but, you know, looking at some things about it, like, mm, maybe I should, like, <laughs> you know, like, going behind your boss looking for another job before you, you, you know, you tell them about it. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's, you know, what's been happening with Concord. Um, GG Concord. I mean, it's, it's pretty fucking bad, you know. Higher than 25k. Ooh. So, it hasn't gone over 25k. Uh, but the game was also, it's 40 bucks, by the way. Is it worth it? <sighs> you know, it's kind of interesting, too, because Overwatch, uh, before it became free, was, uh, like, 40 bucks. So, they are really, like, fucking cock-watching Overwatch, from what I've heard, from what I've seen. So, that's pretty much it. That's Concord News, blah, blah, blah. 
I mean, should I really look at like um like the the rating for Concord? IGN gave it a seven. Let's see. Let's see. I heard they did a bunch of videos on it too. I heard they did a bunch of videos on it too. Uh I'm trying to see. I don't want to fucking edit this fucking video, goddammit. it. Ten to fifteen minute cute times. Oh my you know what? So Overwatch kinda gets like that low key. Not really, but it, it it be having like, you know, and it depends on the role you play, but it can get up to like ten minutes sometimes. But I was thinking this shit take like an hour or something low key. Never listen to reviewers like IGN. Give it a more accurate rating. Seven. There we go. Yeah. Dustboard. Oh, well, I low key, I'd rather play Dustboard and give it a seven. I mean, at least there's a story, maybe. That's somewhat okay, maybe. But honestly, yeah, the fact that it's that close to Black Myth Wukong. And I think Black Myth Wukong is like actually an eight game. It's still good, obviously. But when you see Concord next to that shit, it's just crazy. You know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'd give it like an eight point five. I'm still playing a game, you know. I shit. I'll give my review in like a month. You know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it, it's. I would say. Shit. I, I, fuck. I mean, I didn't even play the game. Ten out of ten. Uh, well, it's it's debatable. It's debatable. You know. I mean, for sure, an eight and up game, right? You know. But. 10 out of 10, yeah, d debatable, you know, <laughs> it just goes on, I guess, your preferences and, like, your, your knickknacks and shit, you know, but that's it, what do you think about Concord, you think Concord good, you think Concord bad, I think we all know that Concord bad, I don't even have to play the game to know that Concord bad, so Concord bad, um, I, that's it, um, if you want to watch me play Black Myth Wukong, I go live in the evening, um, you just gotta have my noties on, I'm not gonna lie. I did, I, well, I do have a Monday, Wednesday schedule, but I got, you, you know, I, I get lazy, and then I got shit happening and stuff, you know, so, outside forces, you know, not my fault. It kinda is my fault, but anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, goodbye. Shot at a black man and took his shoes. Customized my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some Gorilla Glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smell like poo-poo.